One thing about this building, when you walk, walk up the staircase, it's a really small, tight, crunch staircase. I even have to like watch that I don't bang my head here. I can even spread my arms if I wanted to. So it is cramped, but then all of a sudden you're, you, you come out of this really tr cramped space. When you walk up the staircase and then you get up here, it's sort of, you get a feeling almost like, like an airplane taking off. You have views over the city, you have like sunlight coming in from almost all sides. When I first saw this apartment, it was basically an oversized closet. It was, I think, 18 square meters of a room with a water deposit space of another seven square meters. The water deposits for the building used to be there. I brought up one friend of mine who saw it and was like, you are crazy. <laughs> Why would you even think of buying a place like that? And I also brought up Lola and I, I, you know, I was like, well, what do you think we can do with this space? It was very small and very dark because in the beginning we had only one door and one window. And I said, listen, I'll do the project if I can fall down everything. We knock down the, the wall and we make here a big window of six meters long, a big window to the sea. We thought we could all put it on one level. And then we realized the guy underneath us has like, what do you call it, cathedral ceilings. We couldn't like get into the, this part. So we had to change the design and put it on two levels, which actually made it became an advantage. I think, because it gives the, character, the apartment a lot of character. It does have separate spaces, but they all sort of combine together so that what is at night your bedroom is during the day, is your living room, and you know, everything sort of serves more than one purpose, and that was part of the design. Down here, well, we have the entrance, but we put the kitchen over here where we have pretty much everything we need in the kitchen, stove, oven, even dishwasher and cupboards. Actually, the, the, it is a small apartment, but there's a lot of cupboard space. One of the problems with having a kitchen this way was there's really no space for a refrigerator, what, what especially as an American I consider a refrigerator, which is normally something pretty tall. Where do you put a tall refrigerator here? You'd have to either take the stove space out and then you'd have no counter space. So the solution was to put a half-size refrigerator in here with, you know, little freezer. And since I didn't think this would really be enough space for all the things, we put a drawer refrigerator in here. This is only a refrigerator. And when I saw it, I was like, oh, that's exactly what I wanted. Why? Because it's really convenient. I can reach it from the kitchen. I can like pull it in and grab things out. If this were a normal swinging door refrigerator, I have to pull the door open. I may not even be able to catch it back when, it, when it's open. I'd have to sort of reach in. No, here I can pull the drawer out and just access it. See, all the, all the shelves pull out here. It's kind of empty right now. So I can easily access everything while I'm standing in the kitchen. So I can basically reach everything that's in this refrigerator. So actually, you have as much space as you would have in a full-size full -size refrigerator right here. Another thing is we put in the table, all the space was designed to be multi-use. So this table was set up that if you want to get it out of the way, it's just a simply folds down. Just folds up. Folding chairs here, you can have three people. It's a little tight, but for, you know, every day having your breakfast in the morning. It is a small apartment, but there's a lot of cupboard space. Because right on the entrance, we have two closets back to back. One on one side, one is for like coats and jackets. And on the other side is all the clothes. We put up this wall in the middle, sort of to define, sort of to separate a little bit the spaces, but it doesn't really close off any space. So the kitchen is separated over here. Then if you want to come down here with me, this would be the bedroom. The bed we put up on the split between the two levels and we took advantage of the, the difference in height to put in a whole set of drawers. So the drawers are actually pretty deep drawers too. It's a small apartment but there's a lot of storage space. And then this space here we took advantage to put in a little 
cubby hole to support, store, you know, bags or whatever, your backpack. So all the space is really completely thought out of. We have a closet for clothes and the bathroom. The bathroom is just sort of this little corner where the shower is on your way in. And in the corner, the toilet. This is the shower. It's right, it's like on your way in. So a walk-through shower. Yeah, a walk-through shower, actually. But since the drainage goes through the wooden floor and the drainage is underneath. This is the wood uh, with an open joint and the water is falling between the joints. This wood is perfect to be in contact with water. This material without joints is a piece of uh, zinc with a color. Uh, this material is normally used on the roofs, on the roofs, and I decided to put it here because it works perfectly with water. This bathroom was designed nine years ago, and it's still the same as the same day, no? You have the, the shower curtain here, just to make sure that you don't get the toilet all wet. You can close this. This is the glass door. When it's closed, there's a transparent glass, so I can see I can see the view, I can see the terrace, and I am taking the shower with the view. Living here alone, for one person, it's perfect, I think. I mean, if you have a whole bunch of space, you have a lot to clean, too. <laughs> and all the spaces are pretty multi-use. Like, the bedroom is kind of in the living room, but even, like, this can, you can, you can have people, you sit on this as, like, a sort of, like, a sofa. This is room, also, when you have a party, you roll it. Like yeah. a sandwich, it's like this. Oh, you sit here? Yes. <sighs> People sit, sit here, okay? It's strong enough that you can sit here. I mean, it's... Yeah, of course. We can <sighs> sleep, we can sit. This is uh, a kind of living room yeah. Yeah. during the day. If yeah. you make something easy like this. Yeah. So you transform the space, just rolling the matalas, and then uh, you enjoy uh, all the space as a new living room. The end, the bed is the space that you only need uh, during the night when you are sleeping. So it's in the space that you can transform. So during the night, you can read with uh, that light. Space is constantly changing according to the needs that you have at the moment, which is one of the best aspects of this apartment. It's a pretty variable use space. And also since the terrace, the whole wall to the terrace is all glass, it makes it sort of like an extension of the whole space. We have uh, here these slides, doors, that we can move to one side. We can transform completely the space. This is a very good system because we can control the light and the sun is very important. In summertime, it's a very good system because you have control. You can stop the sun, but the air is coming through, no? To go out. And this is also a system of security because you can close it. You can close it for the night and uh, during the day you will open it like this. And now we are going to open it completely. This space has been designed with uh, the idea that uh, we can protect the construction with passive systems, we don't need uh, something else. And we open the space to outside. Important things was to open this big window to the sea, but in the other side also, this window to the mountain, because it was very important to create grass ventilation. It's for that that uh, we decide to put these uh, windows here, all these windows here, they can open automatically like this. Which allows almost at any time of the day, you can get air running through here from one side to the other. So it's a really well ventilated apartment. So the air conditioning, even in the hotter days of summer, it's not that necessary. I mean, maybe one week of the year, you're like, God, it's really hot. But other than that, it's not necessary. This is the idea that with the architecture, architecture with a good design, with, without so much technology. You have a very good temperature during the day. It's, com it's comfortable at the end, this house, very comfortable. One of the ideas was to limit the number of materials. The table is made out of the same kind of wood as the floor. 
as the wood in the, in the terrace. We got this burgundy red color, which we tried to repeat. Just not having a thousand different colors. It, it's sort of the same concept as not having so many things. Why do you want so many colors? Especially when you have so much light. The, one of the walls, we painted it with, it's actually blackboard paint, but you can use that to write on the wall, write notes, write, you know, things you need or... What do you, what do you have written now? Simplicity is one of the virtues, one well, of the most complicated virtues, by Mario Benedetti. What does it mean here? It's, you know, most people think it would be much easier to live in a big space with a lot of things. And simplicity can, is a virtue, but it's sometimes complex because it makes you decide. You have to really decide on what you want. And then once you decide what you want, whenever you decide on what you want, you're also deciding on what you don't want in discarding all those other things. This is the living room space where we have more storage space, lots of space to store books. So the storage of the kitchen is over here, you know. Of course, all the things that you need are here. If you have so much space where you're constantly putting things away, you end up, when you open those drawers or cupboards, you end up finding a lot of junk, basically. I like to think usually before I, I acquire or buy something, I'm like, okay, where am I going to put it? I don't have a place to put it? Oh, well, sorry. <laughs> no need for that. Especially coming from an American culture, I go back and I'm like, oh my God, this is just so much clutter. Huge houses and they're completely cluttered. I remember when I first moved to Europe, I was like, for almost a year sort of living out of a suitcase. And I thought, you know, there's something, there's a real advantage to have everything you own that you can carry on your back at one point. Sometimes it's much better to not have so many things. So, yeah, there's definitely a really big advantage to have less. <laughs> less space and less things. And you, then you sort of really know what you need. Hi. We will talk. Okay.